Hey friends, welcome back to the latest episode of Hot News here on Friday. In today's episode, we're going to be covering AMD potentially buying out Xilinx. The RTX 30 series refresh might be coming in December, as well as there's Unreal Engine in Hummer. We're going to be covering all of that after today's episode sponsor for Hot News, which is Four Sigmatic, which is my favorite coffee in the world. It is filled with good things such as delicious coffee, as well as mixing in culinary mushrooms for various cognitive benefits that you might be experiencing from them. It is the coffee that keeps me the clearest. It makes it so that I can get through these episodes of Hot News. I drink it every day. I've switched my wife onto it, and many of you have switched on to Four Sigmatic. And if you use the link in the video description with coupon code UFD Tech, you're gonna save a little bit of money off of your first purchase with them. I love it so much. This is empty. This is empty, by the way. I already, I already drank my coffee cup. See, this is this is my old coffee cup. This is a Starbucks cup from Taiwan. I love it. Anyways, check out Four Sigmatic at the link in the video description. But now let's go ahead and talk about the first major news that kind of broke overnight, which is the fact that AMD is looking to buy Xilinx, which is an FPGA company. Field Programmable Array is a different type of processor that allows you to do multiple variable things. FPGAs are actually how NVIDIA produces their G-Sync modules. And the reason that this would be such a big deal for AMD is that they could potentially be using FPGAs as a way to scale their future lineup for Ryzen as well as for their GPUs. This could allow them to interconnect using the Infinity architecture that they've been talking about in a way that hasn't been done before and would allow them to be much more competitive with Intel over the long term. So the deal is expected to be around $30 billion, which actually is very quite close to Nvidia purchasing ARM recently for $40 billion. And this could play out in such a big way that it would give AMD a larger advantage in the CPU and GPU market because they have more things that produce all in one. They, they would actually actually create a much more substantial competitor for Intel and Nvidia at that point. But that's obviously not the only big news that came out about AMD. We mentioned in yesterday's episode of Hot News, which you can check out right up there, that AMD launched their Ryzen 5000 chips. You can watch that episode to catch all of the details that you may have missed, but there's also some few updates that are coming out from motherboard manufacturers, such as Asus and MSI, who are launching B550 motherboards, kind of as a refresh for Zen 3 support. So you have the Crosshair Dark Hero, as well as the B550 Strix XE, and then MSI is launching their Unify X motherboards, which look quite good. So in case you want the best of the best Zen 3 supported motherboards, these might be something that you may consider in the future. But you also might consider upgrading to Nvidia's new GPUs, not the ones that they've already announced, but the ones that have been unannounced. And it looks like, according to sources that are being talked about behind the scenes, that NVIDIA might be updating their lineup in December. The RTX 3080 20 gig, the RTX 3070 16 gig, as well as the RTX 3060 might all be coming in late November, early December as a way to compete with AMD's launch of their big Navi cards. We also covered that a bit in yesterday's episode of Hot News. It looks like big Navi is about right where an RTX 3080 would be, except for it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So NVIDIA dropping a 20 gigabyte version of the RTX 3080 might be enough to squeeze out reasons to buy that over the version that AMD is selling. Now let's talk about Team Blue for a second because just before the launch of the Zen 3 processors, this was back on Wednesday, they released a Medium blog post to confirm the fact that they are number one, recommitting to gaming, and number two, they're gonna be launching Rocket Lake in Q1 of 2021. And all I have to say is thank you. Thank you so much, Intel, for being so brave that you would give us this big announcement in a blog post on Medium, not through an official channel on your own website, not through some fancy produced video, but through the best medium of all, Medium. This portion of today's episode of Hot News brought to you by Medium. Not big, nor small, medium. Just right for underwhelming your entire audience. Talking about something big, Sony did a teardown of their PS5. This came out on Wednesday. We didn't have time to cover it because it came out just before we launched our episode of Hot News. But suffice it to say that the PlayStation 5 is so large because they are indeed trying to cool it appropriately. You see this fan right here? That is a double thick 120 millimeter fan. And then on top of that, they included things such as liquid metal on the SOC to allow it to be cooled properly. And they're doing it in a way that you can't normally find it 
on typical PCs by having ridges around the SOC so that it actually doesn't dissipate in as much time as it would normally would on a PC. But let's go ahead and talk about Team Xbox for a second because somebody from Xbox did say that the expandable storage options of which there's only a one terabyte $230 version of right now, you might see an expansion in that category over time for less than a one terabyte for more than one terabyte and for greater price down the line. That's really where they're trying to get their thing done, more money. But now let's talk about where you would not expect gaming software to show up, and that is in your car. But Unreal Engine is confirmed to power the Hummer's EV infotainment display. This is gonna be part of Epic Games' new human machine interfaces using Unreal Engine. You see here that they're launching something with regards to the infotainment display on the Hummer and even teasing the fact that you might be able to drive as a Rocket League car in the map on the street. Let me know what you think of Unreal Engine being in your car. And Final Fantasy is definitely gonna be in my PS5 and apparently it's finished with basic development and scenario production and that they're currently focusing on tweaking large scale resources, boss battles and all of that. So kind of the fine minutia rather than the entire game. And that means we should be closer to a launch than them announcing Final Fantasy 15 or excuse me, Final Fantasy versus 13. And then we get it 10 years later as Final Fantasy 15. This actually should not be so long. And it shouldn't be a long wait for bug snacks either because they've announced that they are going gold and should be a launch title for the PS5, also going to be available on the PS4. But bug snacks coming out. Bug snacks. And in case you want a good monitor for your next gen gaming consoles or potentially your RTX 30 series, this, my friends, is the RTX 3080 Game Rock from Palette. It's Something, right? ViewSonic's announcing a brand new monitor in their Elite lineup, the XG270Q. This is a G-Sync version of the FreeSync monitor that we actually covered this previous weekend over on UFD Tech. You can maybe potentially get excited for that, and we can get excited for the fact that Western Digital announced a ton of new options for their storage scene. This includes an SN850 game drive with an RGB heatsink, as well as a RAID AIC, as well as a game dock, including hard drives, but also having more of a dock feature of the USB speed ports you can see the pricing on this is quite exceptional this is supposed to be seven gigabyte per second reads and five and a half gigabyte per second writes you can get it with or without the heatsink you can also get the add-in rgb raid card and the game dock as well starting at one or two terabytes of capacity and amazon's starting to unveil its all electric delivery van from rivian this thing looks uh like it, it looks cute it's got a it's got a kind of a ooh factor going on let me know what you think of the Amazon Rivian van. I, it, it looks surprised. It looks surprised that it's working for its corporate overlords like this, and it can't believe that people view it so cutely, but it's really just a wage slave to the giant overlord that is known as Bezos with his octo arms. Nice. And lastly, really, we're just gonna cover the fact that it appears that Disney is making a switch from their revenue model for Disney Plus when it comes to releasing movies that should have been released in theaters, but on their Disney Plus streaming platform. Soul is the next one that's been confirmed that should have had a theater launch, but isn't going to and it's going to be on Disney Plus on Christmas. However, unlike Mulan, it's not going to have the $30 premiere access video on demand release that Mulan had. So on Christmas, you should be able to watch Soul on Disney Plus for free, included with your subscription, but it's apparently also still expecting a theatrical release. We'll see if that actually plays out over the future. And speaking of the future, we're going to look towards that because this episode of Hot News is done. Let me know what you think of AMD buying Zilinx RTX 30 series refresh and the Hummer getting Unreal Engine down below in the comments. And while you're down in that section of YouTube, why don't you smash that like button, get subscribed, stay up to date on all of our tech related content. Also consider checking out today's video sponsor for Sigmatic, my favorite coffee, my friends. In, in no, that's the wrong coffee mug. My favorite coffee for drinking every single day. I love it so much. I buy it myself. I bought it before they paid me and now they're paying me. And so you should buy it. And that's it. That's, that's the episode. <laughs>